Good afternoon, everybody. I'm going to speak today about the health benefits of garlic and how to eat it and get those benefits. So I'm going to go through 11 of them. The first health benefit of garlic is, uh, well, everybody knows it's a blood purifier. That's no secret. Uh, it's just coming to light how incredible it is. And uh, I'm going to go through the benefits I read on Healthline. Garlic contains a property called allicin, which is one of the most potent medical properties that there is. So when you take garlic, you get this property. It purifies the blood and it prevents heart disease. It prevents colds. A big study that was completed recently surprised everyone because it was the largest study of ever in history of the garlic and its effect on colds and it was found that those who ate only th three three cloves of garlic a day just three of these had 60 percent fewer colds and they even found that eating garlic every day uh, even when one has a cold already in the thick of it, it will help get rid of it more quickly. So garlic has this incredible property to protect against colds and to cure colds. It also has, is highly nutritious. Garlic has 20, uh, just one ounce of garlic contains 23% of the RDA of manganese, 17% B6, 15% C, selenium, fiber, and so forth. It's loaded with these things that are extremely beneficial. So what I'm doing here, as you can see, is taking it all apart and getting the skin off of it. You don't want to eat the skin, of course. Everybody knows that. But what you might not know is that the part of garlic that is so fantastic for you, this esalen, if I were to take it just like this, like if I were to pop a whole cube in my mouth and swallow it like a, a vitamin pill, I wouldn't get any of the benefits of the garlic. Because the benefits of the garlic is only released when you chop, when you chop it, like this, on a chopping block, in little pieces, and then you let it sit for 10 minutes. And all the esalen comes out. If you don't chop it or crush it with a mortar and pestle, you don't get the benefits, the health benefits of garlic. So it's very important to you know, get rid of, get the, uh, get it all crushed up really good or just chopped up really good and let it sit for a few minutes and then, then down the hatch, you know, then take it. Now, some of us are Buddhists, myself included, and the Buddha said, you know, not to eat garlic or any of the pungent plants, but he was speaking to monastics that were living in monasteries and in close quarters with one another and 
it was to reduce the uh, smell, you know, not to cause offensive odor. But if you're not worried about that, then uh, if you're not in a monastery or something, you don't have to worry about that. And if you are in a monastery, well, you can, uh, you can make it that choice up to you, you know. People should be able to get over their neighbor's smell anyway. But the Buddha did say don't eat the garlic, and there's other reasons too for all of the pungent plants, onions as well, it's because they, char they can increase anger, sexual desire, and these kind of things. But if you don't have a problem with anger and sexual desire, then you don't have to worry. But if you do, maybe you do have to worry, because it can increase these things. Of course, if you're married, that might be a good thing, who knows. Uh, but we're talking about the health benefits now, and another thing that the Buddha said was to take your food as medicine. That's probably the most important guideline the Buddha said regarding food. And another thing I might say here is the Buddha himself, and probably most of his disciples during his time, almost certainly ate the pungent plants, and I'll tell you why. The reason they ate the pungent plants is because they all took vows to not only eat once a day, but to eat what was ever offered to them. And they lived, the Buddha walked the plains of, dusty plains of India for 49 years, preaching the Dharma. And during these 49 years, he was in Bihar, which is mostly fishing villages and farmers. So if they're not fishing, they're farming. And so likely what went into the Buddha's bowl was, um, you know, since the people of India have been eating garlic for thousands of years, it's one of the oldest cultivated foods. And the Greek mentioned it in the ancient Greeks were using it. It's one of the oldest cultivated foods. So it goes back before the Buddha's time. So. The people of Bihar were certainly eating plenty of garlic and onions and so forth. And what they ate went into the Buddha's bowl. And as a monk, you're not, you know, it's not, you don't say, oh, I'm sorry, I don't eat this or that. You just take what's put in your bowl. That's the guideline. So, if you want to avoid it, you can, but it's at your own health loss. Uh, an interesting thing is I used to take this garlic when I was a teenager many years ago and uh, at that time I used to get a lot of body odor from taking this much. This is much more than most people would take. But I take a whole bulb every day. I just started doing it again. I'm glad I did. So, you can chop it up or crush it up, however you like. Because, I'll repeat, it gets the important health benefits of garlic are not released unless you ch cut it and you let it sit for a while. So even if you're just using garlic in foods and making salad dressings and so forth, or putting it in soups and cooking with it, you want to make sure you chop it. If you don't chop it, you don't get the health benefits from the garlic. So you can see I'm chopping it real fine here. Now I could crush it in the mor with the mortar and pestle. If you have one, you can do it that way too. It's up to you. I, ha I haven't been doing it that way. But I suppose we could do, do it that way. We could put some in here.
So you put it in there. Now since I chopped it, this really doesn't have to be done, but we're going to do it anyway. It may have some benefits to completely crush it, or you can put it in a, a garlic press. However you choose to do it is okay. You know, one of those hand garlic presses will be fine too, because that will release the ins essential ingredients you need. So, what are the other benefits of garlic? Let's see here. Other benefit, it, it's, it prevents sickness and cold. And a 12-week study found that it reduced the number of colds by 63% compared to a placebo. That's huge. It controls and reduces blood pressure. It improves cholesterol levels. Number six, garlic contains antioxidants and it may prevent Alzheimer's and dementia. Garlic may help you live longer. Athletic performance can increase. The Greeks used it, by the way, uh, thousands of years ago in the Olympics. It can detox heavy metals from your body. I'm reading here from my tablet. It can improve bone health. And last but not least, it tastes delicious when it's cooked. But we don't have that luxury right now. So I'm going to show you guys a secret. Not such a big secret. I thought it was a secret when I invented it not long ago. Uh, but it's not a secret, I found out, because I discovered that they're broadcasting it on the internet. Here I thought I discovered something unique. Anyway, you take the garlic and you put it in a glass after you've crushed it or chopped it. Now all of the allicin is released from it now. I'm going to repeat again because it's important. If you don't do the chopping or the crushing, you're not getting the benefits from the garlic. Next step, my big secret that's not a secret you take the honey, take some honey, pour it onto the garlic like this, this beautiful Patanjali honey. He was a great Indian saint, yogi, great, great yogi. Now this is real yogi food, real honey. It's not fake. One of the problems with honey, of course, is there's a lot of fake stuff going around. So you mix the honey and the garlic, and look at how beautiful this is. Can you see that? It's fantastic. Look at that. So when you eat it like this, it goes down really super easy. A little honey and water, chase it down. This is a real gift from the gods, believe me. This will keep you healthy and living longer for a long time. I repeat, it can it'll reduce your chances of getting a cold 60%. And if you already have one, it'll help you get rid of it. If you have any parasites and critters in your stomach, it gets rid of them really well, naturally. So, you really hardly can beat this combination. It's inexpensive, even for Nepal here. It's a very cheap remedy for 
Something that everyone can afford. It's one of the gifts of the gods. So I highly recommend it. Uh, like I say, doing it with this honey, and I haven't had any problem with breath or body odor, to my surprise. <clears throat> I don't know whether it's because of the honey or not, but maybe. If you take it on an empty stomach, it's supposed to be even more beneficial. Look at one escaped. How do you like that? This one was a didn't want to get crushed up. So if you they say if you take it on an empty stomach, that's the best of all. But you can also cook with it. I didn't know that part. I thought it was always better raw. Supposedly you don't lose much when you cook it. And some say that you even when it's cooked, it even releases its good properties even more, as long as you've let it sit and chop it first. So in that sense, garlic is different than other foods. Because we, as we know, garlic, uh, most foods, cooking decreases the beneficial properties of the, the food, but not so garlic, so you can cook it. So that's the little home video on eating garlic. Eat it for heart health, less sickness and disease, no dementia or Alzheimer's, low blood pressure, fewer parasites, healthy bones. It will take care of you and you can eat a, eat a, if you don't want to eat a whole bowl, eat three or four cloves a day. It's good for you. Namaste, I love you. It's monsoon season here in Nepal. It's hot, really hot. But it feels good. The rains are starting to arrive. <clears throat> Love you.